Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Tim with XML file and whole demo content so within a few minutes your page could look like our demo. Okay, so at first I'm going to appearance Tim's section. Then install Teams, upload, and I'm going to look for the Rocco zip file. This one, and click install now button. It could take a few seconds, maybe about at least one minute. Uh, so we need to wait. When it will be finished, uh, I will show you what should be done next. Okay, so after a few seconds, uh, our Roku team is already installed and all we need to do is click on activate link and it will take us to the teams. Uh, as you can see, at the top, we've got a few informations about contact form 7 and the revolution slider and recent posts and thumbnail gallery plugins. Uh, these plugins are important for this team, so let's go to install them. I'm going to check all, install and apply. Okay, the plugins has been already installed. You can go to plugin section and check if everything is okay. As you can see, we've got contact form 7, recent with widget, revolution slider, and thumbnail gallery. Okay, so, so now we can go uh, to check how already installed team looks like. I'm going to click here and this is how looks team just after installation. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard and I'm going to tools import section. Click on WordPress. I need to install this plugin first. Click on activate. And now I can look for my XML file for Roku team. This one file is here. And we can start uploading uh, this file. It also could take a few seconds. Sometimes it's about one, one and a half minute. Everything depends on your hosting uh, settings and from uh, file size. Okay, if the file will be uploaded, I will show you what you should do next. Now, uh, we need to choose if you want to import media files as well, or maybe just things like posts or pages. I'm going to upload everything, so I will choose this option, download and import file attachments, and click on submit button. As I said before, it should take few seconds, maybe one minute. Okay, and as you see, after a few seconds, uh, the XML file with whole dummy content has been already uploaded properly um, and the next step we need to go into settings reading section we need to choose home or front page and blog for post page remember to click save changes button uh, in next step we need to go appearance menu section and here we got few menus included with the team the first one is super menu 
second one is for languages and the third one is the main menu and now we need to choose main menu so we need to go manage locations and for main menu we are going to choose main menu and for languages menu languages also click save changes and in the next step we need to make a footer to do that we need to go to appearance and widget section and after XML upload we got four default things inside first footer so I'm going to remove them and I've got here explanation how to make it just like on demo and the first one is text so we are taking text widget and drag and drop into footer area first with title and with some HTML text. Okay, so the first section is ready. The second one is Muffin Recents menu. Muffin recent comments, sorry. Uh, this one and number of comments too. Now the third section. It is Muffin Quick Facts. Title. and some shortcuts for content. And the last one section is recent tweets. I'm not going to fill all these fields because uh, there is too much of them, like consumer key, consumer secret, access token, access token secret. So you need to put your own values and everything will be fine. All right, so we can have a look how our site looks like now. And as you can see, we've got everything just like in demo except slider. We've got the menu. We've got languages here. Search box. Uh, we just don't have social icons because uh, I didn't put any links in King of Shispano. Uh, we've got the whole content with sections, the first, second, the other. The footer looks okay as well, with about a section, my recent comments, quick facts. And as you can see, the last widget is empty because we didn't put all these values. Okay, and in the next step, I'm going to upload slider to show you full page so i'm going back to my dashboard choose revolution slider the left side create new slider i'm going to call it page slider slider one Auto responsive and create slider. Okay, now I can go to edit slider, click on import export section, choose write text file, and click import slider. So all data for slider has been uploaded, so we can go refresh our site and check how it looks like now.
And as you can see, our slide is really nice. Just like on demo. So I think this is everything for this video. And I hope that we showed you how easy it is building websites with our team and how much fun you can get. So thanks again for watching this video.